Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. James and Steve here for today's video all about ACCA exams, how to manage your work, life, and study balance. Well, Steve is a top tutor who's going to walk and talk us through some tips that he's helped his students out, and we're just going to help you out. So leave us any comments below what you think could work and help other students out. But Steve, the floor is yours, my friend. Hi, James. Thank you for inviting me to share my thoughts on this. It's always an honor to be on your channel with you. <laughs> Guys, if you are watching this, I know you are stressed about your ACCA exams. You've got a lot of time invested in it. You've got money invested in it. And it's probably weighing heavily on your mind. Now, <clears throat> I know it sounds corny, but to succeed in your ACCA exams, you really need to balance things out in your life. And I recommend instead of saying, okay, my exams are in two weeks, this weekend, I'm going to study the whole weekend. That's how I'm going to pass. <laughs> now, you guys have heard me talk about study plans before on all my webinars, but remember, a study plan also has the times that you're not studying, mm. okay? So you have diminishing returns on your time when you are studying. The first hour of the day is gonna be much more productive than the last hour of the day. And that decline, that, that, that rate will be steeper if you do not take breaks, mm. right? So it's critical. When you set up a study plan, you need to plan out what you're gonna do when you're not studying. And I, I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do. We all have different constraints. We all have, we're all different places in our lives. I've got little kids. I have to study, I have to do things early in the morning and you know, in the middle of the day because I work from home often. And when the kids are around, I'm gonna get interrupted. That's a fact of life. So I do the heavy lifting in the mornings, midday. But guys, I take regular breaks. For example, when I am marking, if I'm marking mock exams, every hour, I got this right next to my desk, right? This is for doing ab rolls. I'll do this one week, or maybe I'll do push-ups. But I will build into my day a break. And I want to get exercise because what you're studying now, you're exercising your mind, exercise your body at the same time. It's just going to help you reset your thinking process. New chemicals get released into your body when you feel that pain in your muscles, when you push out yeah. to the last push up. So really important. Try to get some physical exercise as well as mental exercise. Indeed. Yeah. Even just arcing back to when we were students, I used to do sort of the 20 minute 30 minute let's go do a past paper question and then a sort of five minute 10 minute get up leave my seat go for a little walk around get some steps in rehydrate decent food all the rest of it um but it comes into that sort of work life study balance where you talked about the variables everyone yeah. who's listening to this has got different variables maybe working full time children you like to go to the gym social life whatever it may be so plan it out the days and the weeks and go, right, this is the time when I go for, to the gym, go running. This is when I work and then fit it in accordingly to your available time. Absolutely, James. You know, another great thing that, that I like to do when I'm when I'm very stressed, if I, I try to force myself to do this. I stop and I will smell the roses. And I will send a message to my mom. I'll stop. Okay, I did exercise last time. Let me send a nice WhatsApp message to my mom or to an old friend I haven't spoken with in a while. And that just gives you nice feelings, nice memories. And so that's another thing to help you break out of that exam stress, hmm. connect with old friends and loved ones. And you can reach out. Just takes takes five minutes to send a WhatsApp. Yeah, indeed. But I mean, we will have some students here, Steve, who are going to say, James, I just haven't got any motivation to study. I feel like all I'm doing is just studying all the time. Have you had any students who have had that and have come to you? 
Oh, absolutely. Especially right in the middle of the process when you're at the FM, the F, uh, the, 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 the FA, mm -hmm. when you're not FA, excuse me, financial reporting. And the light is not yet at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Well, it's, it's, it's a case of just breaking it down and understanding. I always say, like, what is your why for doing this? Is it career progression? Are you interested in setting up your own business? All the rest of it on there, because there must have been a reason as to maybe there's accountants in your family. Who knows what it may be? And then just reach out to someone who's done it before. So ACCA have the, the, the student communities you can find online. There are online groups. There are free webinars that are put on. Anything that can get that momentum going again and take some advice. So if you've got any questions for us, leave us a comment below. We'll get back to you on it. But what other sort of work-life study balance tips, Steve, come to your mind that, uh, that you think from your uh, previous students' experiences that could help someone out? Well, I like what you said a moment ago about staying inspired and, and, and staying focused. I want you to remember everybody, when you are a member of ACCA, you are in an exclusive elite club. And even if you are bummed out on your studies and you're thinking, well, maybe I don't want to be a technical accountant, stay focused because ACCA opens many career paths to you. You can get into financial management. You can get into, you can become a fund manager someday if you're not happy with doing financial accounting. You can get into financial planning and analysis. There are very cool and sexy jobs out there uh, when you become an ACCA member. And also remember that the rate of change in the world is accelerated. We don't know what the career will look like in seven, 10 years. But if you are a member, you will be equipped to deal with the challenges and you will be sought after in the job market. Mm. So stay focused, pass these exams. You can do it. I know you can. Good stuff. Honestly, I really appreciate your honesty because we've been there for the early starts, for late yeah. finishes. And it's it's the old adage phrase of it's the price that you pay. That's it, I'm afraid. It's, it's the opportunity cost, you know, the time that you could be spending watching Netflix, feet up, you've had a long day at work, you just want to relax. But as you correctly said, when, when, when you get that letter through to say, here's your certificate, here are the, le the letters you can put after your name, that's the sort of thing that, that got me going, especially on the days when you really didn't want to do it. If you, if Go look in the go look in the job advertisements right now on the internet. Go look for management jobs in finance and accounting, and you're going to see almost all of them want ACCA or equivalent. So keep that in mind. You are blocking you. You are limiting your future if you do not finish these exams. Well, wow. I hope today's video has helped going through that sort of work life study balance, guys. Managing your time, understanding your why. Some fantastic tips from Steve on there as well. And I just want to say again, Steve, thank you so much for all your insights today. It's definitely going to help someone. And I think it could be the difference in just getting that 50 plus. Thank you, James, for having me on your channel. Guys, I know you can get a pass. Keep working hard. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Best of luck. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.